If you were with us on Friday, you know there was a deadly rampage at the Fort Lauderdale Airport. And the man who's accused in that rampage making his first court appearance today. We're getting a look at the moment the shooting began in the baggage claim area. TMZ has posted video, which it claims shows a suspect pulling a gun from his waistband and firing at people. A warning for you, obviously, as people are being shot here. The video is disturbing. It's apparently from a security camera, has no audio, and by rule in this case, we're not allowed to speak over it. So here it is for 12 seconds. And there you go. That shooting left five people dead, six injured, and hundreds more fearing for their lives. Investigators say 20-year-old, I should say 26-year-old Esteban Santiago flew to Florida from Alaska, checking only his gun. Santiago is a one-time National Guard soldier who served in Iraq. Last year, the National Guard discharged him for what it calls unsatisfactory performance. Then this past November, investigators say Santiago walked into an FBI field office and claimed the U.S. government was controlling his mind and forcing him to watch ISIS videos. He now faces federal charges involving murder, firearms, and an airport violence. If convicted, he could get death. Phil Keating is at the airport for us again today as he was on Friday. What's the latest from the courtroom there, Phil? Well, first of all, the hearing was very short, but the courtroom itself was absolutely jam-packed with spectators and media. Uh, Esteban Santiago barely spoke to the judge during the 15 minutes. In fact, he hardly mentioned a word to his newly appointed public defender. Dressed in his red prison jumpsuit, Esteban Santiago appeared timid and jittery inside the courtroom. At the short hearing, as it went on, the accused mass killer stood shackled at the wrists and ankles, and he appeared to be either muttering to himself or just clenching his jaw over and over. All of this three days after he allegedly triggered hours of panic and chaos, terror really, for thousands upon thousands of travelers at the airport. People were just terrified for their lives running and fleeing across the runways just trying to get away. Legal experts say this case and trial could come down to a battle of the experts. On one hand, he's saying he heard voices at the time um, and that the government is controlling his mind. But on the other hand, after the shootings, he laid down and surrendered, which shows that he understood he did something wrong. Santiago remains in the custody of the U.S. Marshals. He will be back here at federal court in downtown Fort Lauderdale next Tuesday for his detention hearing when bond or no bond will be determined. Chef. Phil Keating at the courthouse. Thank you. The FBI agent leading the Fort Lauderdale airport investigation once interrogated Saddam Hussein. George Pirro runs the FBI's Miami field office. Back in 04, he questioned Saddam Hussein alone for hours after the former Iraqi leader's capture. Pirro said he, he posed as a high-level envoy who answered the, to then-President George W. Bush. Pirro claimed Saddam Hussein did not know his true identity and called him Mr. George. Over the weekend, Pirro announced the latest of charges against the airport shooting suspect and Iraq war veteran.